So if we consider that now in this scenario, our uh, storage uh, infrastructure is out of the box of physical host and this virtual uh, virtualization infrastructure is connected via cabling infrastructure for accessing all kinds of data over here. Let's suppose we have number of VMs over here. And if this host wants to start this virtual machine, this host can access this virtual machine by utilizing or using this cabling infrastructure. And for that purpose, uh, this, this physical host uh, has a number of protocols uh, for accessing this virtual machine or any kind of other data on this storage infrastructure. So if we talk about the uh, protocol, we have few ones over here. Number one is called SCSI or if we talk about uh, other protocols they are also called nfs and we have other tremendous technology related to uh, the uh, the virtualization infrastructure protocol which is called fc and it's it's stand for fiber channel and the last one is called fc o e fiber channel over Ethernet. So let's get the concept. Most of the time, in small and medium-sized businesses, we are generally utilizing we are generally utilizing this SCSI protocol over here. Here, if you have the first option for which you can use SC S I. So generally, uh, for the purpose of communication, you all know that we are using the uh, TCP IP for the purpose of LAN communication or WAN communication. But when we talk about uh, SCSI protocol, SCSI means you map your storage over TCP IP, which means that behind the scene is still TCP IP is working, but uh, for for migrating virtual machines, for accessing virtual machines, or for accessing any kind of data related to the virtualization infrastructure, a dedicated protocol is available over here. You typically put in dedicated Ethernet uh, network cards and a separate network switch. So most of the time, it's recommended that you have to implement a separate switch uh, and separate Ethernet cards for the deployment of uh, SCSI uh, protocol in, in virtualization infrastructure. Or you can also utilize VLAN technology for isolating your virtualization infrastructure from uh, all other resources uh, in, in your own data center. So each server and each storage device has its own IP addresses. So now we are uh, we are separating or isolating the virtualization infrastructure from uh, the whole other activities like voice over ip or other infrastructure which are operational in our uh, network so uh, it, it's better to separate your virtualization lan connectivity for the purpose of security for the purpose of uh, performance optimization and better management so uh, in Windows, each drive shows up in the computer manager as a drive, as a hard drive, normally, uh, which we are using uh, in, in our uh, uh, normal IT operations, and you format it. So this is called the block storage uh, in, in, in SCSI infrastructure. While we have an other option also available here, which is called NFS, Network file system. NFS means you access a file share like if, if uh, in, in, in journal network operations we are sharing number of folders over the network. So in the same manner we are also using NFS uh, in, in our virtualization infrastructure and you put all virtualization uh, related files on uh, the shared folders uh, which, which you are uh, which, which exist on your virtualization infrastructure. In Windows, uh, this is a map drive. 
most of the time when when we log into our uh, laptop or desktop machine and access the uh, access the computer resources uh, where you can easily find your map drives so in the same manner uh, when we are using nfs uh, in our virtualization infrastructure so these are the process of accessing your virtualization data by utilizing map drives okay and these map drives will be accessed by sharing resources so it's it's an other option if you want to utilize it but most of the time we recommend uh, that you you have to implement uh, SCSI because uh, these protocols are directly uh, attached uh, storage uh, when we compare it with the uh, nfs and other a uh, tremendous option which is uh, available here uh, is called fc fiber channel it's an other tremendous protocol and most of the time this protocol is recommended for smb and enterprise networks when we talk about enterprise networks so it's recommended because it's uh, totally dependent on the uh, fiber media and you know that when we talk about the normal media which is totally uh, copper based so when we compare the copper media performance related to the fiber optic so uh, it's it's having tremendous features and uh, tremendous uh, performance related features uh, related to the network infrastructure so uh, if you require high performance uh, uh, networks in your own infrastructure, so you have to be implement the fiber channel or FC. Fiber channel is a lot like the SCSI. Both are same almost. When we talk about the I, uh, ISCSI, SCSI, uh, SCSI uh, uh, protocol or when, when we discuss uh, with the comparison of fiber channel, so fiber channel is a lot like SCSI except it uses the fiber optic cable instead of ethernet so that's why performance is automatically improved when you are using uh, uh, fiber optic media uh, for the purpose of uh, communication and transferring the data or migration um, um, uh, during the migration task so uh, SCSI and FC is same protocol, uh, uh, working procedure is same, but the major difference is uh, SCSI is completely dependent on the copper media, while fiber channel is completely dependent on the fiber optic media. And the last one is uh, another tremendous opportunity which we can utilize over here, which is called FCOE fiber channel over Ethernet. So uh, if you want to get the benefit of FC performance over the Ethernet, so you can uh, deploy FCOE fiber channel over Ethernet, uh, which means that fiber channel protocol will work for uh, Ethernet media or copper uh, media, but the condition uh, which we impose over here is that your Ethernet connection must be a giga or 10 giga. Uh, transfer capacity uh, or uh, uh, data occupying capability because a uh, fiber channel over ethernet is not recommended on normal 100 mbps connection which we, uh, which uh, we are generally using in our own infrastructure so that is that is a kind of a summary related to the storage protocols uh, which generally we use in our virtualization infrastructure. So uh, I have also attached a comparison sheet of, uh, with this course. You can also uh, analyze it. And uh, right now we have uh, four major options related to the uh, 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 virtualization infrastructure and data store connectivity. So it's up to you what kind of protocol you are going to implement according to your own requirements.